Hi everyone, today we will see the implementation of XOR gate using four input LUT. LUT means lookup table. It is the integral part of FPGA design. So four input LUT means it will be having four memory cells, storage cells. Just like the multiplexer, two selection lines will be there. And one output line. Here we are going to implement XOR gate. We know the truth table of XOR gate. That is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1, it is 0. So this output will be writing inside this table. And the input will be acting like just selection lines. That is A and B. So when your input A and B is 0, 0, this first line will be getting selected. When it is 0, 1, the second line will come to output. When it is 1, 0, third line will come to output. And when it is 1, 1, the fourth line will come to output. So the same thing we can implement with the help of two input LUT. So how we can implement with the help of two input LUT. So two input LUT means it will be having two cells and one selection line will be there. So here we are having A input, B input. We have seen A is the MSB bit and B is the LSB bit. From this truth table it is visible. B is LSB and A is MSB, most significant bit. So we need to store four outputs that is 0, 1, 1, 0. So with the help of two input LUT, we can store two variables. So I am taking two two input LUTs. So in first one I will be storing 0, 1 and the second one I will be storing 1, 0. And we need to combine this output. Here we are having two outputs but actually we are having only one output y. So how we can combine this output and what will be the selection line we have to give here. So we can combine these two with the help of a multiplexer. One, two is to one multiplexer will help so that at a time only one output will be there. For multiplexer also we need to give the selection line. So always for this LUT I will be giving this LSB as the selection input. And MSB will be given to your multiplexer. We will see how it is working. When A is 0 and B is 0 what will happen? A is 0 means this first cell will be getting, the two cells are there. First cell will be getting selected. So B is 0 means here also this first cell will be getting selected and this 0 will be coming to output. Output will be 0. Next, A is 0 and B is 1. What will happen? A remains 0 and now B is 1. B is 1 means the second line will be getting selected. And this 1 will be coming to output. So 1, 0 means what will happen? So now B is 1. And sorry, A is 1. And B is, B remains 0. A is 1 means second line is getting selected. And in second line, we are giving the input from the downside table. Right. So now B is 0 means this 1 will be coming to output. And next, next condition 
one one that is a is one and b is also one so a is one means this second line will be getting second cell will be getting selected so here b is one means this zero will come to output so we can see here first two condition a is zero so always it will be selecting from this top side lut second two conditions a is one so it will be selecting from downside lut so the truth table it is getting satisfied so like this we can construct xor gate with the help of two input lut's thank you all